Let's talk about the university system in biomedical engineering. When you were a student at IIT Bombay, uh, my research says that there was probably no undergrad biomedical engineering program in India for sure. Today, almost every university worth its weight in salt has a, an undergrad BS biomedical engineering program. Um, what, what is good about having a biomedical engineering program? I know, I mean, let's, let's, ask, let's ask ourselves that question. I mean, what, do a what does a student learn in biomedical engineering? And where does it take them? Yeah, maybe un let me answer that first and then we can be a bit more philosophical. So biomedical engineering. So almost all applicants at the end of it are more engineers. They are quantitative. They have some, at that young age, some appreciation of engineering, not a lot. I was young and I was enamored by electronics, so I became electrical engineer. But to be honest, you could be any engineer. Mechanical engineers can do artificial hearts. Material science, metallurgy can build implantable materials. Chemical engineers can study thermal and thermodynamic processes and create insulin pump. So any engineering is valid. But because today a biology has become even more dominant, right? At institutions like MIT and elsewhere, they require one year of biology because it is so central to all aspects of sciences and engineering, where you need to learn about DNA and genes and cells and then later on diseases, so biology, and medical, which means health, disease, and so on. So basically a biomedical engineer, to answer to your question, need to be quite versatile, mm -hmm. quite interdisciplinary, uh, should not get locked into one thing and should be able to multidisciplinary way integrate together. You can come from any angle, from biology, neuroscience, electrical engineering, material science, and start integrating. So this might surprise you, but after doing biomedical engineering, you and I as professors, and we talk about engineering and invention and all of that, a lot of biomedical engineers in US at least go to medical school. About 10% of medical students are now bioengineers, physicists, et cetera, or do MD, PhD, so combined MD and PhD. But otherwise, a predominant will go into industry and consulting. Biomedical engineers become really great consultants. And even get, I can think of my students who got pulled into investment to make the decision on uh, where future technologies and sciences are going, because they're very well grounded on multidisciplinary manners. They're quantitative. So they think sure. analytically, and then they apply to big finance or big entrepreneurship or medicine.